Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Let's now move indeed to the second speaker from the opposition side, Mr. Edouard Sioufi. Mr. Chairman, dearest timekeeper, Monsieur le Président, Madame le Ministre, Your Excellencies, Monsieur le Directeur Général, Madame la Directrice, Honorable Members of the Jury, Dear Colleagues, Members of the Government, Members of the House, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good Evening. They say passion is a threat to society. We say them nay. I cannot imagine my life without passion. 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 This is exactly what my speech is missing. I mean, I only read two sentences, and I'm already bored. Passion. We are all blessed with it. Or in Honoré de Balzac's words, passion is universal humanity. So if the defendant is to be found guilty today, then we don't need to look further than ourselves to find the accomplices. And as George stated it earlier, the reason we refuse today's motion is that the threat to society has to be eliminated. But I am going to prove that passion is the very fabric of society. It is also... I love the passion of chains, keep them coming. <laughs> but I am... But I am going... But I am going to prove to you that passion is the very fabric of society, and it is also what draws the line between courage and fear, ambition and apathy, opposition and government. You see, Ms. 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 Popescu, when you come up and you say, you have to control passion and not let it control you, doesn't it contradict what, you, what the first speaker of the government said? Passion controls you, it's not you who control it. And then, no, thank you. When you say that passion blinds us, passion on its own means nothing. It is benign, but mix it with ethanol and rub it in your eye, only then will you get blind. Is that my turn? No, thank you. And in the Middle Ages, in the Middle Ages, passion was associated to the seven deadly sins. But we are having this debate today. And today, passion means love. Passion is positive. Terrorism point, is not sir. passion. It is fanaticism. Yes, please. If passion means love, then why are they two different words, sir? When you're not making the difference between fanaticism obsession and passion, you cannot say that. The reason there, is, there are two words is that love is only one kind of passion. Yeah. And, in Afghanistan, the, and in Afghanistan, the threat wasn't the passion, it was the people using the passion to manipulate people. But now, let's restore passion to the speech. No, thank you. It is, after all, what builds society. It starts by gathering the building bricks, Families, people working, then those atoms are passionately regrouped to form a collective pattern, a democracy. You see, society is hundreds of individuals. Without passion, it stops here. But we also need relationships, people coming together. Haven't we all seen the sparks in the eyes of a woman when you talk about the man she loves? In fact, as I stood here, I could see the ladies in the audience staring with dismay, shouting shame in disgrace while reading today's motion. No, thank you. And isn't it a shame to put passion on trial today, on the 28th of March, while spring is here, sap is rising. I mean, it is the season where young men's thoughts turn into love, which is passion. And I can hear you saying, I can hear you saying, that's what we wanted to hear from the beginning. But what has it to do with society? Well, love or passion builds families and keeps them together, away from the threat of cold indifference, which is often the reason why they dismantle. Yes, please. So if, uh, if love is just a kind of passion, isn't hate a kind of passion too? 
hate, hate is sometimes a kind of fashion, but it is never a threat. It is when it is misdirected that it becomes, that it becomes a true threat. But now let's talk about work. When you leave the office on a Friday night, the most productive thing you can do is to go back home, have a quick dinner, and continue working on your assignments without stopping for a second. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what you need to do is to immediately get work off your mind. And one kind of fashion can do that in an instant. A hobby, a hobby. I was talking about a hobby. How can hobbies possibly be a threat to society? I mean, there are just silly activities. My favorite one is plane spotting. A group of people in the surrounding of an airport just staring at aircraft all day long. But it's not a waste of time. It can be useful, a stress relief, and it helped increase security around the airport. <laughs> when they cooperated with the police, and in the wake of the targeting of airports by terrorists. Now it's time to group the atoms and create a pattern which links them. And once again, we need passion. You see, democratic politics are not, control, are not to control and limit passions in order to establish a rational consensus. It is to mobilize this passion for democratic ends because an aversion towards confrontation creates apathy. While consensus is necessary, it must be accompanied by dissent. And it is passion, which leads us to have different political identities in a democracy. It is what makes political debates between parties possible. The real threat is the lack of passion, which would then result in having only one passionate party and blind consensus. In other terms, the death of passion for speech and the end of freedom of speech. Before we hear Thibault's testimony, I beg you, ladies and gentlemen, to reject this shameful motion. Thank you very much.